welcome back to my channel so today I'm doing two looks with this rather funky looking palette from NYX um, I think it's called poster child child poster palette um, so I'm doing two looks one is a more um, I would say like a more wearable look uh, with more pinky tones and um, like a, um, a darkened black um, crease and then the next one is a more cool toned blue and yellow one um, I think it's one of my favorite ones but um, yeah so um, I am actually just following the palette so just using the crease color in the crease um, the definer colors to define the eyes um, and I'm just literally just following whatever the palette is saying just to see what kind of like look they have made um for us to add um i would say though that these um powders are actually very chalky um and quite powdery they look insanely pigmented on in the pan but actually they're not as pigmented so i have had to use um a wet um brush to use all of them as you must have seen just now as well i'm just trying to add that eyelid color as well it's a very cool toned pink and i was having um trouble making it appear properly onto my eyelids which is why i had to use my fix plus from mac so just um i'm just taking the definer color now um again i have wet my pencil brush so that it um, shows up properly otherwise it was just looking a bit gray and patchy um, initially when I was actually using this black color I didn't understand why they had such a dark color with such like pinky colors but um, once I did all of the makeup and the look was finished I was actually quite happy with it and it just made more sense um, there is also one thing because I'm using the brush um, the brushes I'm here I'm using are wet um, I was having trouble in actually um, blending them out so over here I've taken the crease color again and um, just trying to blend out that black and pink so that there's no definite line and it's more blended in my um, lower lash line, I'm just using a bit of the definer color and um, using the crease color just to blend everything into my lashes and tie everything together then I am using my mascara which is from L'Oreal it's the infallible unlimited mascara and uh, I've done a whole review on this so I can link that for you if you are interested once I am done with my mascara I will go on to my blush which is the benefit dandelion um, this comes in a shimmery color as well but I only have I just have the matte one not the shimmer one for highlighter I'm using the balm merry luminizer which has been cracked and broken but I absolutely love this stuff so I am using that on the high points of my cheek uh, above my eyebrows and um, on the bridge of the nose as well then I am uh, lining my lips with um, the BH Cosmetics lip liner in the color nude and just lining that and then for lipstick I'm using the um, Charlotte Tilbury Amazing Grace which is the matte revolution one and that's the done finished look okay and that's the first look done and on to the next one so I'm back with my same face makeup um, just using the second set of eyeshadows the yellow and blue ones um, as you can see the yellow over here looks really bright in the pan but when I put it on my uh, my eyes it didn't look as pigmented so I tried with my fingers uh, which did help quite a lot um, but I still think it wasn't as yellow as I thought it would be now at this point I was very happy with it but as you will see <laughs> as we go on um, I did have to work with the yellow quite a lot so I'm just adding that turquoise um, blue color in my crease which again it is a very different look and you'll see in the video as we go on that it looks really scary initially but um, once everything was blended and everything was um, defined as per the palette it looked really really nice and I think this is one of my favorite 
looks so far um so i'm just adding the crease color in now which is like an indigo blue color so it's not green it's a very blue color but it's very bright um and i really like that because it's like a, it's a very different blue i haven't used this blue in my in any of my looks um ever actually so i was quite intrigued to use this once that's done I'm just using the definer color again the definer color is quite bright it's brighter than any of the other blues that i've used um and again i've um wet my pencil brush as well just to get the slightly more pigment on my eyes and i'm taking that and extending that into my crease as well just so it has more definition um again with the same thing um because they are so powdery i did have to wet my brush and uh, to blend them out i had to add more powder which is um yeah the case over here as well now at this point i had um completely wiped off my yellow eyeshadow because i wasn't happy with the look i was getting so um in order to get all of the pigment and the actual bright yellow lid that i wanted um i'm using my concealer here from nyx called gotcha covered it's one of my favorite concealers it's really um pigmented really thick and it's waterproof so i'm just using this on my lid um to use as a base and usually people use this for a cut crease as well but obviously i'm not doing a cut crease it's um it's just so that the yellow actually shows up so as you can see now here um as i build up this yellow onto the area where i have the concealer it actually does look like proper yellow um and not just like a, a weird kind of color <laughs> with the blue um so yeah i'm just adding that onto the lid and packing that on um and then just to uh make sure all the other other colors match to it i added the crease color and the definer color even more uh, with the definer color i added that to the outer quarter of my eye as well um just so there's a lot more um difference of the yellow and blue and i blended those out for my lower lash line i used the um, the crease color and the definer color and really buff that into my lower lash line so that you could see a slightly smoked out um, lower lash line there it is all the smokiness um, again I will I have added more yellow onto my eyes just so they pop and I thought um, just to um, tie all of that in I added um, a waterproof eye pencil from um i think it's rimmel yeah it's rimmel um and it's, it's like a copper copper eye pencil and it looks really nice with this again i'm using the same mascara from l'oreal and that is the eyes done then using the lip pencil from bh cosmetics nude um and the lipstick i'm using here is from mac and the color i have i will mention on the screen here because i don't remember which one it is but i'll mention it on the screen and uh, yeah it's a really nice pale i don't remember which one it is but i'll mention it on the screen and uh, yeah it's a really nice pale pink i think it looks really nice with the eyes because when you've got blue eyes well eye color you, you need to have like a peachy pinky tone um yeah i really like this look i hope you guys enjoyed this and i'll see you guys next time bye everyone please do subscribe